how much did I spend on first year of maintenance for my Model 3? What does Tesla's warranty look like? What about services? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. One of the questions I get asked a lot by people who are still researching about a Tesla Model 3 is, hey Joy, what is your maintenance cost like after first year? Well, the short answer is $25 and that's after 14 months instead of 12 months of ownership. You see, I switched to a Tesla because I realized this car has no engine, which potentially would eliminate a lot of service and maintenance costs and issues for me down the road. There's no coolant leaks, no engine oil leaks or change. You don't need transmission oil change, no timing belt change no catalytic converter that potentially may get stolen like the older Prius, no muffler that's going to fall out, and no smog check here in California. During my first 14 months of ownership, I've only had to do two things to keep my car running like new. The first maintenance item that I have done is windshield wiper fluid. This cost me five bucks from Pet Boys and it's a gallon. And as you can see, I still have quite a bit left. So, yep, Tesla maintenance. The second maintenance item that I did to my car was tire rotation. My car hit 11,000 miles last month and I went ahead and invested in this tire tread gauge. Thank you, Lexi, for this idea when I met you in Washington, DC. This is like three bucks from Amazon and I'm putting a link down below. And this is a lot more accurate and easy to use than the traditional penny or quarter estimation style because it is color coded and all you have to do is just put it on each of your tires and then find out where it's at. Because I have rear wheel drive car, my rear tires, they're wearing out a lot faster than my front tires. So when I measure them, the rear ones are like, just starting to get into the yellow zone and the front tires they're all still in the green zone so i just went ahead and did the tire rotation now i did call around a few places just to get a quote for tire rotations i asked around on twitter as well people have been saying that tesla actually sent out mobile service to get their tires rotated for like 75 dollars to like 115 different pricing. Some people did their tire rotations themselves. Kudos to you. I hope you are my next door neighbor so you can do mine. But eventually I found this local shop called Just Tires and they quoted me 20 bucks because I did not buy my set of tires from them. I still have my stock tires. So I took my car into this place and got them rotated for only 20 bucks. Now there is another item you should invest in so that when you take your car in for maintenance and service in the future for the rest of your car's life, your battery and the bottom potentially would not be damaged. And that is to invest a set of these jack lift pucks. Some people have done this DIY style and made these on their own using like hockey pucks, but I don't have hockey pucks and I don't have time to do this DIY project myself. So again, I found these on Amazon and I'm putting the link down below so you can check them out. As you can see, when I went to get them rotated, they knew exactly what to do with these pucks. So they just put this in between the lift station and the bottom of your car because that's where your battery's at. This creates a little space between the lift station and the bottom of your car where your battery resides in so that it will prevent potential damage to your battery when they do service and maintenance on your car. Next, let's check out Tesla's warranty. Just like any other car brands, Tesla comes with a four year or 50,000 miles new car limited warranty. However, Tesla battery and drivetrains, they come with a separate and a longer period of warranty. I printed them out here 
and I'm linking the actual PDF document down below so you can take a look at it yourself. For Model S and Model X, the battery and drive unit warranty is 80 years or 125,000 miles. For standard and mid-range Model 3 batteries, it is 80 years or 100,000 miles whichever comes first, with minimum 70% retention of battery capacity over the warranty period. And with the long range batteries, which is the one that I have, it is 80 years or 120,000 miles, whichever comes first, with minimum 70% retention of battery capacity. So if you're researching about Tesla and you're wondering about what the warranty is like, there you have it. Lastly, let me share with you some of the service items that I've done to my car. The very first one happened last year when I noticed that the right side tail light starting to have some condensation in it. I started looking around online and I found out quite a few people have had this issue. As a reminder, my car is a first production vehicle. So some of these earlier builds the sealant that they were using for the tail light housing wasn't right. So I guess when it got humid, it started collecting water inside that caused condensation. And it only happened on my car for that one tail light. I took it into Tesla service. They replaced it for free. It was just a one day job and it hasn't happened ever since. The second service item happened Earlier this year, when I noticed that I got a warning sign telling me that my driver's safety restraint system was faulty. I asked around online and a fellow Model 3 owner and a former mechanic told me that this fault error message actually happens quite a bit even in ICE cars. I called Tesla, they said, oh, it's okay, your car's totally safe to drive. You don't have to worry about seat belt or anything. Just take it in and we'll get the sensor replaced. So again, I took it in, it was a one day job. It turned out to be a sensor underneath the seat that became faulty, which caused this error message. So again, Tesla took care of it free of charge. The third service item that I did was very recent. It happened a couple of weeks ago when I took my car into Tesla because I thought my charge port had an issue since when I go to a particular supercharger, there's a particular stall. Every time I plug in, it would not start charging. But when other Teslas pulled in, they're like, yeah, I have no problem charging. Look at it, the lights are flashing. So Tesla ran a test on my car. They said that my car is completely fine. That supercharger needs maintenance. They're thinking about shutting it down and upgrading all of them. But while my car was at the service center, they told me that there is actually a service bulletin to replace the charge pins on the charge port. Apparently the charge pins, they wear out quite easily. So Tesla replaced the charge pin for me at no cost. And those are the only service items that I have done so far in my 14 months of ownership. If you're still researching about this car and you're wondering what the maintenance is like, what type of service it needs, and what the warranty is like, it is really very nominal in terms of expenses to upkeep this car. And as I mentioned earlier, this car will save you so much more money and so much more headache down the road because there's no engine oil, no coolant you need to worry about, no timing belt you need to worry about changing, and no smog check. So the four items that you would regularly do maintenance on, on a gas engine car, just toss them out of the window and scratch that off of your expense list. And once again, if you enjoyed this video and like the information I provided, don't forget to give this a like and subscribe. Make comments down below and ask me questions. I'll do my best to answer. Until next time, have a blessed week.